I find a lot of the parents that I work with end up thinking that somehow their kids know automatically what to do about it. And then all of a sudden they realize, oh, I could help them learn something that will help. Mm -hmm. And, and also how many people get the label of ADD or ADHD, and then they just kind of, okay, so that's the excuse. I don't right. have to fix it, or I don't have to deal with how to cope with right. it, or management. learn, yeah, management. Yes. Is and that I, something you found? I find it all the time that, you know, we find, look, there's all different levels of how parents show up. Some are right. in denial, some are overwhelmed, mm -hmm. um, and some are all in between. But, you know, what we really try to do is, is teach parents um, how to not only just parent kids with, you know, that are neurodiverse, but even mainstream kids, because, you know, a lot of what has come out of our work is what we call universal learning, meaning we mm -hmm. all know what universal design is, right? The curve right. cuts in the sidewalk were, were put there specifically for a certain population that might have had a physical impairment. But we found that you know, people pushing a stroller or a shopping cart or even luggage, everybody benefits from those. Right. It's the same thing with universal learning. It's the line these days of this just working specifically for this type of student, and then we'll do something completely different for those that are more mainstream has really become much more, much more together and much less black and white. So what we're seeing yeah. is what we do for kids that might learn differently benefits all kids, which is actually, I didn't even think of it this way, is why I wanted to write write this book. Because if you if you read the book, you'll see ADHD is not mentioned anywhere in the book until the very, very end. There's there's a disclaimer mm -hmm. that obviously if your child might seem a you know have ADHD or executive functioning challenges, here's something else. And when my publisher approached me, they're like, we want you to write a book that's mainstream but yet touches on all students yeah and there's nothing that touches on all students more than procrastination it is a universal epidemic it really is um there's so much coming at us these days like what where do i stop where do i land and um more and more people are diagnosed all the time or self-diagnose thinking that that's the problem when it may or may not be, it could exactly. just be not having the right habits developed and stuff, which I think is going to be really interesting. But I'm super excited to circle back to the fact that you just made a new connection because that's what the streamlined connection is all about. Ha talking things through, thinking it through, seeing where it hits other places. Um, so organizing is not one of those things that's just going to affect one area of your life. It doesn't just right. affect your closet or your pantry. It starts changing all the different areas of your life. So I'm super excited that you were talking about universal design because that's the whole point of the show. How do we make it better? Be better awesome. all the time. 